Today's video is brought to you by Mercari. Sell it, ship it, get it. Guys, I did it, man. <laughs> I cut off the mullet. Young, naked mole rat ass, Paul Cantu, is live in the building today. And I have a brand new trip to the thrift for y'all where I'm going to sift, dig, and flip some gear and show y'all what's good with the vintage the game but yeah um shout out everyone who has been watching the videos and everyone who commented on my last trip to the thrift about how i passed on potentially a ten thousand dollar couch and i had no idea about that my brothers look i don't even pretend to know everything because i most assuredly do not however in that case i had no clue not even a fraction of a hint of a recollection or even minute observation that that piece could be worth anywhere near ten thousand bucks it was a togo couch it just looked like some piece of furniture you would put in a game room in my humble opinion trippy that's just ignorance at its best well without further ado guys we're gonna hop in the thrift and see if we can find some fire attire today please be sure to like the video and without further ado let's get in there all right guys we're alive in the trenches man i came across four things while i've traversed through this store and the first of which is an absolutely enticing gym. You have the Porsche 1980s at its youngest by Juan Mach. I don't even know what that means, but look at the little accents, man. Bumblebee, wake up. Are you kidding me? You got the black and yellow, the Porsche insignia. This jacket is so nuts. Look at those little tabs on the shoulders. I don't even know what you do with those, but I'm still impressed. And then you have the Igloo uh, little Henley. I love vintage igloo stuff, hence the bias towards a somewhat mid-level piece, but the embroidery is just crazy. Like, they went above and beyond. Like, look at that limp noodle embroidered into the L. That's crazy. But then on the floor, man, I found the Amari Studemeyer. Boy, does he get to the rim in a hurry. New York Knicks, all embroidered basketball jersey. For only three bucks. I'll drill y'all. Good lord, my guys. Literally, you got Jesus's mother in the building. Double sided tee, this goes crazy. And then you have the Houston Columbia PFG. Fishes get you hella biatches. Little uh, fishing garment. Nice. All right, guys, so I thoroughly excavated the men's section, but lord, let it be known, the women's section came through for your boy with all of the exclusive 90s apparel. This looks like a watercolor palette slash atrocity on some uh, vintage shorts. And these have no pockets. I don't know what's up with that, like why there was a lack of pockets. I mean, there's there's this tiny one on the back that could hold like half a cell phone. So I don't really know if that does any good, but these shorts are crazy. I'm definitely gonna do some planting in these. You guys, check out my second channel, Paul Plants, who it goes crazy. Anyways, there are also three or better yet, tree oh, vintage windbreakers that are nuts this one has like dalmatian patterns almost versace-esque golden emblems the purple the aqua then you got this little essential baby right here with the double b's look at that jewelry yellow white and bubble gum pink on the shoulder hits and then this dude is nuts vintage reebok purple orange white and aqua oh the price though Seven dollars, and then look at the back of this beauty. All embroidered Reebok, my God, this is a work of art. So yeah, I'm getting like, I think seven, seven items in here today. Actually, I'm getting eight. I just wanted to put in that sound bite. But without further ado, I'm gonna take them back to the house and show you guys how I actually upload them and flip them on Mercari. Let's get it. Legitimately guys, selling has never been easier with Mercari. Shout out my guys once again for sponsoring today's video. I felt this sponsorship was extremely valuable and relevant to my audience, you guys. So as a little backdrop in case you guys are living under a rock and have an edit of it, Mercari is essentially a flea market on your phone. It's an app where you both can buy and sell pretty much anything and everything under the sun, which is especially valuable if you guys are a thrifter like myself and have tons of clothes. You might need to declutter your house or you're picking up housewares and any little knickknack that you may see in the thrift. Man, this app 
completely free is a great place to flip these items on. It is super simple, extremely easy, and their whole mission is to make selling and listing as much of an easy breeze as possible. Now, I definitely can show you better than I can tell you, so I think I am going to list this Porsche bright yellow lemon jacket on Mercari right now and just give you guys a quick and sexy example of truly how much of a breeze listing an item on their app is. All right, so first things first on listing an item, I need some pictures. Luckily, I have this authentic and amazing wood grain, so let's snap them up real quick. And then from there, you pretty much just type in a nice little description. I have a Porsche 1980s vintage jacket, so that's what I'm putting. Then you have categories. Mine is flight bomber, coats, and jackets. And then it is shipping from 77258. And then I said, I will pay for shipping. It guesstimates the shipping at being $11.50. However, I know it's gonna be $8.50. And then I put the price at 40. Now there is a selling fee and a processing fee, which obviously if you have a platform of millions of users, they're gonna take a little bit off top. And that pretty much is all there is to it when you're listing an item. Super simple, super quick, super easy. Mercari, link in description. You guys check it out. It really helps me and the channel. So support me by supporting yourself and sell some gear on Mercari. All right guys, back to the lecture at hand. We're at the next thrift shop, Family Thrift. Let's see what they got. All right guys, we're live in the mix, man. You only can fight the inevitable for so long. They finally have whipped out the shorts in this store, which is usually bad news because jackets just slap so much harder than shorts. However, with summer approaching, man, sky's out, thighs out. I need to make sure I get the proper tan on my kneecaps. And this is the section that will enable me to do so. So look at all the flavors, the colors, the variety. And I did manage to pluck a couple of great pairs. You feel me? Michael Phelps with the swim moves. You got the Speedo gray, black, and red trunks. And you got the essentials from my childhood, the youth. Soccer, not umbro, but still checker it. You guys could play, you know, chess. You could play checkers on these shorts. That's beautiful, $2. So not only is it a piece of apparel, but you low-key can play games on that thigh of him, man. Then you got the $7. Seven! Toucan, parrot, macaw, whatever bird that may be. Floral encrusted trunks. I'm gonna grab these. They'll be great to rock on the Plant 2 channel. And then for all you guys <laughs> who are interested in the workwear aspect of things, you guys know the ultimate dad shorts denim jeans huh cut off at the knee huh carhartt bro you you kidding me and look at the hammer holster bruh stop it yeah i gotta cop these man and they're low price of seven seven oh my god Khaled, hit it another, another one. one bruh another one this one is even better man slight upgrade the nice snow white USA Olympics insignia or something that's an insta cop I got some shirts and jerseys as well that I'll show off this one is just heat man it says evangelism you already know thrift heaven baby and then you also have speaking of religiousness look at this chick obviously a god-fearing woman man nah this is a straight demon bro straight stripper jackpot um little flame little branding on the front pocket see you got the greatest show on turf marshall falk you got the no problem jamaica tie-dye little uh lsd trip color scheme that's what's up and then this dude bruh fubu boys forever dog lemon head bright big bird yellow this thing is fly as fuck straight up looks like someone took a marker to the inside of this embroidery that was a some weird customization but regardless this jersey is amazing and it's only four dollars <laughs> dude not like this even when the jackets are gone the trifling goes on check this out man two pairs of shorts fifteen dollars a piece bro personal foul personal foul tripping they got the north face for 15 the vans for 15 they're absolutely smoking a bong full of dicks thinking someone's gonna pay that much for some damn you shorts. Like, that's direct sack contact. Ew. Come on, son. 
not like this. Trippy. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm clutching up in this thrift right now. Dude, despite the taxation without representation, we're finding some things. You got the vintage Levi's, $3 acid wash jeans. They do have stains near the kneecaps, but I'm gonna customize these. Matter of fact, I'll probably do that tomorrow, man. Just super icy. I love the wash on them. Made in USA, y'all know what's up. And then there's a couple other garments that are just heat, man. $2 vintage Adidas lime slime green long sleeve, vintage Lee Sport all embroidered Jag Jaguar essential. I think the Jags might do it with Trevor Lawrence. We'll see though, we'll see. Then you got another FUBU Boys banger of a piece, Mandarin color scheme, bro. You got the Brown Hornet super strength, super brains. This man got it all. Super clean graphic, that's hard. I wish it fit me better because I would definitely keep it. And then bruh, the England Nike authentic jersey. This is $1 as is. Now it has an X through it, there's a couple of slight little dirt marks, but for a dollar, I will risk trying to get those out. And then for anyone looking for a clean classic essential, you got the Alexander Martin golf er encrusted. <laughs> golf er, y'all like that hesitation? But for real, man, uh, 90s polo, that thing is, is nuts, bruh. And they got a little Titleist hat too, only a buck for all you Aggies out there. I went to UT, but I still got something, still got something for you guys, okay? For sure. Man, what's up, baby? Yes, queen, yeah. Nah, bro, for real. That store definitely did come through. I really wasn't expecting it. I just persisted, just continued the sifting, the digging, and boy, did I find some gold. Did I find some gold? Really, I found nothing like insane, but enough things to really moisten the palate and wet the lips, bro. In more ways than one. Bruh, let's freaking get it, man. We're about to go to the next spot right now. I'm up right now. My eyes brighter than a night light. My night light let you understand why I can't have no wife. Guys, how appropriate. Titanic soundtrack. Oh my God. Nautical theme. And it matches, man. Fishes get you. Hella what? Hella. Biatches, you guys already know, man. You got the tits on full display. My man took the charter, cause he knows fishes will always and forever get you hella biatches. The fish philosophy lives on. This is a prime example of my teachings and my preachings. Hell yeah. Dude. <laughs> it's like the universe knows what I'm looking for. So my plan two channel, I want to be draped in nothing but like all over prints, especially animal related and nature related themes. Man, all I was doing was lowballing sellers yesterday <laughs> on items such as this. And now I got one for two bucks. That's right. Family thrift, home of the $2 Thursdays. You already know, man. Simba. Oh, look at this to go with the shirt. The fish trunks? Is that a skipjack? What is it? Oh, these are for kids, man. God, God dog it, man. I look like a kid in, with, my, with my facial hair, but damn it, man, I can't fit in no child's clothes, man. Well, I mean, I could, but that'd be weird. Bruh, short game crazy. I'm all here for this. What size is these? Please be mine. Please be mine. Please be not mine. Are you kidding me? Then you backdoor it with another pair. Look at this, Hatulko. And then bruh, these are a little bit piped up and striped up on the sides. Oh man, my short game about to be nuts. Why are these size 36, man? If you guys want them, you already know. Dude, this is a banger, man. Shout out to the University of Texas. That's where I went, daddy. Yes, I am educated, believe it or not. 1999 Cotton Bowl Champions by Southwestern Bell. Let's go, then bought by Singular, then bought by AT&T. And that's just how cell phone companies get flipped. I don't know about y'all, man, but this is looking a little suspicious. It kind of looks like a craft logo, honestly. You have the Fila made in Italia, all embroidered bootleg, but still crispy crew neck. Need it. Oh, the classic, dude. You got the genuine Budweiser, the fart factory, son. What's going on, man? Yes, this butt's for you. Always eat ass. Yes, sir. You've got to be joking me. 
Coogee down to the socks in my Tommy boxes. Bruh. I mean, this is an authentic Coogee, but I mean, it could it could have fooled me, man. It could have fooled me, that Croft and Barrow. Y'all some mother suckers out here. Copyright infringement having ashes. Hey, bro, the knittery. Wild. Oh, man, dude. Absolute grail found. Absolute grail found. Dude. Check it out. We got the Carhartt denim jacket. Not only that, right? Black denim. Look at the inside. Blanket, like fleece lined banger. Got the beautiful bronze, or is that gold in zipper? And then this thing was also handcrafted with pride in the United States of America. America, baby. Y'all already know. This is an Instacop. These things go for money. Money. There is no more 90s than this. Look at the Bugle Boy stripedy stripe stripe t shirts in multiple color schemes. Come on, man. Assembled in Mexico. These things feel pretty damn good, too. Look at the designs. I gotta hit it one time for the one time. Vintage Disney. I hate a what? My brothers. I hate a goofy, especially. Guys, flex my bicep, then I swole on. Bro, man is carrying the weight of the world's sins on his back. You got the Jesus Christ tank top a nice little muscle tank it says he carried the sins of the world on his shoulders man this is a clean graphic nothing on the back man it's about time i get swole one crucifixion at a time wait let me stop oh hell yeah america baby first and foremost bruh you have the evil knievel leather jacket double-sided I'm excited, bro. I'm about to make a stunt on a two-wheeler, man. You guys know what time it is. You got the Tommy for your mommy American flag design. And then check it out, man. You got the 50 years of the NHRA drag racing. That is nice. Bruh. Miracle. Look at this. Dual-wheel denim dynamite. You got Pooh going for the honey. And the whole gang is hanging on to him. Then, of course, you got bad to the bone. Scooby-Doo. I don't know if that's what Scooby sounds like. I tried. Man, let's go. Big Penny Hardaway champion jersey. Man, that's what you need for the spring summer. Double sided, you already know. And then look at the 1990 New Orleans and Mardi Gras tee. My God, man, that's like a damn parakeet. That's a macaw, a parrot. That's something. She got exotic birds on scalp. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, not like this. All right, last find in this store. Someone made an error of all errors. My guys, they left the majestic, authentic Ken Griffey jersey at the dry cleaners. Bro, how sway? How sway? What you doing? Well, whose man's was this? Dang, they even got the name on there, man. They're tweaking, bruh. But hey, I ain't mad at them. That's life. Yeah. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys already know pressing the like button really does go a long way, so click that thing. And also click the link in the video description and check out Mercari if you guys feel inclined to do so. Just downloading the app will really do a lot to help me out. These sponsorships truly do help fund the operation, keep the lights on, so I really do appreciate it if y'all check out Mercari. You feel me? And thanks to them for sponsoring the video, obviously. But yeah, until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. A lot of these items will be up and available for sale very soon. So stay tuned. Another video coming your way shortly. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get